you like to call the Old Testament to the Muslim yeah, to right, prove okay. to them that Jesus is God. Yes. There is a question of Trinity. Yes. Now we have a good customer here. Yes. We have someone three minutes each, a hundred and nine. And we have about half an hour, 40, 45 minutes. Okay, Don't run like last time. Look, look, look. Don't run. Look, look. <laughs> let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you. As I'm gonna talk to you, I don't want. Wait, wait. wait. I want. I want every claim you make, yeah, for me to make um, to give the context against every verse, Bible verse you're gonna give. Wait, 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 yeah. Because wait, wait. I don't want you to just. What be context? But you quote yeah. multiple no, verses. Listen. No, no, no. And then just listen, run listen, through listen. them. You quote. Yeah, yeah? Look, no. You quote. Hold on. I'm just trying to say something. I'm not saying anything difficult. I want people who will watch us, what we're going to say, yeah. we want to have the context of what we are saying. We can so have a context. That's what it is. Yeah. I just don't want you to throw just a verse here and there, and then, you know. No, 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 no. Uh, if okay. I memorize the verse, I quote it. When I quote it, three minutes each. Could, yeah. you, could you do a favor? I'll could do you? the time yeah. if you want. Three minutes each. And I said, we can have three minutes each. Please. Yeah? No interruption, no, by the way. I don't mind. It can take five no, minutes. No, no, we don't, we don't want that. As long as it makes no, 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 sense. No, 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 no. Makes yeah. sense. I quote from the Quran and from the Bible. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. If your Bible doesn't make sense to you, that's your problem. Right. If okay. you, yeah, you can put it into context for me. Yeah, I quote it. You put it in the context. It's simple. All right. So, okay. yeah. uh, that's the thing. Because you've been, I've been seeing the video. You've been following, uh, going to Ali, going to Mansur. Um, you're running away. You're running away. They are running away. You saw nah. them running away. No, 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 no. no. no but you saw them running away. No because you are not making sense. To them. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> I can yeah. run away from you. Brother, I've seen you. Uh, <laughs> but now no, I no, make no, you run away. Anyway, three minutes, guys. Bible lessons yeah. today. We, we, begin. We, we, begin. We, we, inshallah. Inshallah. Let's just now you begin. Don't interrupt, bro. Yeah. Yes. No, no. The yeah. same way. Yeah, because I don't, it's not going to work out. Interrupt. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, are you ready? Are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to time. That's right. So why are we debating Islam? Actually, yeah. Let's talk about Islam. Let's. Okay. Let's clarify. The debate is all about. Okay. My position, yeah, you are a Muslim. It's about the oneness of God. You are, you are, you no, 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 no. No, that, that's what you're approaching them the other day. Hold on. The oneness of God. I will tell you what I believe. As a Christian, I believe Islam is a pagan religion. Okay, okay. okay. And Allah is a false uh, okay. okay, 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 okay. God. It's not the real God. Okay. So I will be arguing, I will be arguing on this position. No, no it's proof. You have to prove okay. If I argue you, so you can, then you, I'm going you, to prove. You as a Islam. I'll have to prove that Islam. Now all the prophets, I'll give all the prophets. All the prophets. All the prophets. All the prophets are Muslims. All the prophets are Muslims. Let's have uh, this discussion. Go, go, go. Let, let, go, let go first. Go. Do you want to go first? He doesn't want to go first. You go first. Go. You got to go. Oh, no, you want me to go no, first? Let me, let me, I can go. I but it looks like you were looking for me. I don't know. You've been watching your No, no, no. You just go first. No, no, no. You want to catch me. Listen, brother, even you, listen, so listen. You I'm going to go. Even, you even, catch no, 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 I catch you, but remember, you, know you remember, you, you challenged me here. Listen, Aki, Aki, you know, last time, last, no, no, I'm, I'm going to ask him, please, be patient. Last time, you remember, even apologize, yeah, yeah. you are badging him. Let me finish, stop, stop, stop. because when you're talking, even you are personal, let me finish stop, him off. Stop, stop. Okay. Stop wasting time. No, no, we're going to go to court. If you don't want to start. Let me start, let me start. Start, he said, he you didn't want to start. I'm going to tell you, I was, look. No interruptions, yeah, okay, are you ready? Okay, choose to start. Three minutes. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Jibilla, Hina Sitan, Rahim, Rabbi Sabri, Sabri, Wa Amri, Wa Kudu, 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 Alhamdulillah, it's with me and my African brother here. Michael. Michael, yeah, forget it. Michael, who is very frequent here. Yeah, friend, uh, uh, please, uh, just, just Defending Trinity, uh, concept of Trinity, Jesus God. And, you know, following the Muslims, last time I said, you know, even Alhamdulillah, I met him today because I said, if I see him today, I'll approach him. Mm -hmm. I saw the debate with the man here. I saw him straight away. So, Alhamdulillah. And he even owed me a debate about a year, a year ago. He said the Quran has contradictions. And I said, Said, let's debate Quran versus the Bible. Which one is talking about the word of God? He wasn't prepared. He said, Next week, come. Next week. No, oh, yeah, you're on the camera. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell the video. I'll tell the video. I said the following week. I came the following week. It's not around. So, Alhamdulillah, I mean, what we are saying to the Christian brothers and sisters, brethren in humanity, that all the prophets were Muslims, including Jesus. We believe in all the prophets in the Quran by name 
25 been mentioned 25 prophets it's mentioned in the Quran by name but according to hadith 124,000 prophets have been sent on the face of the earth all the other prophets who came before the last and final messenger Muhammad peace on him was sent to their people at a particular prime time period Muhammad Salah Salam is the last and final messenger sent to all, man, all mankind Quran is the last and final revelation which was revealed to the last and final Muhammad Prophet Muhammad Salah Salam and I'll go to the Quran. If you read God's Quran, it is mentioned. In, I'll come to the Bible again later on. God's Quran in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse number 52. It says that that it was never Abraham. Uh, this Quran is a clear message. Please, please. This Quran is a clear message for all of mankind. This Quran is a clear message for all of mankind. Let them take one in there from. Let them know that there is only Allah, only one Allah, one God, and let a man of understanding take heed. Furthermore, this God of Quran is mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 185. 185 says that, that Ramadan was a month in which the Holy Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind and a clear proof for the guidance and the criterion between right and wrong. In the Golden Quran again, it is mentioned in, in Surah Al-Kalam, chapter 52, verse number 68, says that, Omar huwa illa zikrul alamin. Uh, but it is nothing else. It is nothing else but a message to the whole of mankind. In the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter number 21, Five verse number 107, Omar arsam naka illa rahmatan lil alamin. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy, as to the whole of mankind as a mercy to mankind gene and all that exists that's my introduction i'll come to more about the sitting just well, quote quote the quran first uh, well done my brother okay, ready? okay um i'll, I'll start you want me to start no? yeah you can start i mean okay, start we, we've got plenty of time okay i'm a christian and uh, i will lay also the foundation of who we are and what we believe as a christian we believe in a god of the creator who revealed himself to moses said his name he shall be known is I am who I am. I don't know where you can record for me. And later on he record. revealed his name. His name is Yahweh. Yeah. His name is Yahweh. And he's the God of Israel. He's the God of Israel. So this is the God the Christian believe. The God who is the mighty God who created the heaven in an image in his own image. Christian, we have nothing unless we believe the Old Testament. But within the Old Testament, we will see the pattern of the language that comes from the Old Testament. He speaks in plurality. God always spoke, even vividly revealing his divine son. Even he called to the world that they should obey him, they should honor him. This is in the Old Testament. So when we look in the scripture that came before even Christ was uh, came to the world through incarnation, God the Father spoke of the Son. Even within the Old Testament, the Son spoken to us. Even within the Old Testament, the Son spoken to us. There are many verses, so I'm just laying the foundation. So that's what we believe. The Christian believe in a God who is the God of Israel, first of all. God of Israel, who said in the uh, in, uh, book of Deuteronomy 14, if I can first find the verse, please. We put, you say you want to oh, find thank you. Yeah, yes, uh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, because when it comes to God, God is a exclusivity with God. In the, the, the God so, of Israel. Uh, okay, I want to After his time. 45 seconds, brother. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I will I'll find that verse later on when I come back. Then here, God is saying in the book of Deuteronomy 14, yeah. you are the children of the Lord, your God. You shall not cut yourself, nor shave the front of your head for the dead. So basically, 
the, I'll, I'll come back to give uh, the, the verse when God says he has chosen Israel uh, as uh, the only nation above all other Asian nations on earth. And it, not, not because there were many, but because as a few there were. So here we see the God that we believe that we fought. It's God who has exclu exclusivity. Time, time. So he chose Israel, first of all, to okay, say he was a father to them. I want to set up this phone because I've got to go find my brother. Yeah? Where's uh, that phone that you just heard? No, I'm first. recording that. You're recording. No, no, I mean the timer, the timer. Okay. I'm talking about the timer. The time is finished, yeah? No, you can't time anymore because I have to go find my brother. No, you can tell you who time it. Yeah, no, okay. okay. No problem. Don't worry about time. Yeah, no, no, no. I time. give him time. He got out of control. I will give you time to talk when you finish, as long as you can be responsible. No, three minutes. When you made your point, then you stop. Yeah, but not, not for long. I don't want to take your time. It's important to me because some people do That's it. It's fine. So it's you not see, fine. It's, a, it's Sometimes better. You, you're not going to be so, able to so say it's, what it's you need to say. Mm, better. Okay. So like, exactly. So, so what I'm saying, as I said, we, what we are telling our Christians, brothers and sisters, brethren in humanity, we are telling you that that all the prophets in your Bible, they were all Muslims. They all submitted with Almighty God. Every single prophet that Almighty God sent came with this single message. Tawhid we call it, oneness of God. There's not a single verse in your Bible where Jesus or any other prophet speaks about this concept of Trinity, which you believe in. And that's why in the Quran, when you read God's Quran, Allah said in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 171, he said that all people of the scripture, all people of the scripture, do not go to extremes, extremes in your religion, and do not speak lies against Allah, but speak the truth. The Messiah, Isa, Jesus, the son of Mariam, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah. And his word, which he bestowed on Mariam, on Mary, and a spirit created by him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Wala taqulu salasa, don't say Trinity. Stop saying it, it will be better for you. For Allah's word, one well, Lord, glory be to him. Far exalted is he, I've been having a son. So that's what we are telling you. We believe in Jesus Christ as a Messiah. A prophet sent to the children of Israel. Remember, I said I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As I said in the Quran, Prophet 25, I've been mentioned by name. 25. All the other prophets who came before the last and final prophet, one piece of it, were sent to their people at a particular time period. Every single human being alive today should follow the last and final. Revelation the Quran, which has no addition, no deletions, no contradictions. Unlike the Bible, I've got many Bibles here. What is the gospel of uh, this thing? Jesus. It's not here. The Injil. The Injil. We believe in the Injil. The revelation that was given to Jesus. But that's not the one. Is there any verse that agrees with the Quran? We believe in it. But we don't believe that this is a 100% word of God. So I'll come back to the Bible again, to the bank, go to the Old Testament and the New Testament to bank this myth of Jesus being God and this concept of Trinity. So back to three minutes. Are you finished? Yeah, finished now. Is it two minutes finished? Yeah, it's finished. Still have 44 seconds. 41 seconds, yeah? Four seconds. So as I said, as I said, the Quran, I said, so uh, if you read the word of Quran, it is mentioned, as I repeat again. Surah uh, Alambia 21107. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, as a mercy to mankind. Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Saba, chapter number 34, verse number 28, says that illa kafatan lil nasi basira wa nasira walakinna aksar nasi la alamun. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings, they do not know. That's why we are doing the dawah. Most of the human beings, Stop. you don't know yet that the Quran is the last and final testament, a, a revelation from Allah, and Prophet peace on him is last and final okay. prophet Let sent to the whole of mankind. Right. Okay, earlier I said that uh, I don't believe uh, Allah to be the God of the Bible, and this is exactly what actually is pointing out, because what he's saying is coming from Muhammad. Muhammad says, Allah has no son, he does not take partnership. Even the concept within within uh, the concept of just father and son it does not exist in Islam. There's no way Allah can call even those who follow him to be his children. But the language in the Bible differ, is completely different. 
So my point I'm making again, I will reiterate this point. The Muslim worship a pagan god. It's not the creator. Who from the beginning created human beings to his own image. There is that, uh, um, there is that, uh, there is that uh, uniqueness when it comes to human with God, that relationship. As we can see from the Garden of Eden, God descended all the time, visited Adam and Eve. He does not come down. He does not fellowship with men. From the beginning, Allah, this does not exist. It's not part of Islamic belief. Okay? So I'm going to show him from before Muhammad came, what was the language of the Bible? When he says, well, Allah, of course, has no son. He cannot have a son. We believe, that's what I believe. You worship another God. We don't. We worship a true God who gave us the Lord through uh, uh, Moses. And God was willing to come down on uh, Mount Sinai and then in a burning bush. God himself wrote the laws that he gave to Moses. That shows that you don't worship the God that we worship. Exactly. Everything he's saying is true. That's unique to Islam. According to your belief, because you're called, you are not worshiping the true God. Now, when we read in, uh, for example, in Psalm, in Psalm, Psalm 2, Psalm 2, to prove what God is saying, Psalm 2, it says, Psalm 2, from verse verse 10. Now, therefore, be wise, O kings. God is speaking. Oh, therefore, be wise, O kings. He's not talking about David. Oh, be wise, O kings. He's talking about the kings of the earth. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in your way. When his wrath is candle, but little, blessed are those who put their trust in him. So God the Father is speaking from the Old Testament, speaking to king who ruled the nations. He's, he's presenting his son. He said, be wise, be instructed to follow the son. He exalting his son. We need to kiss, we need to worship him. We need to honor him. Okay? So, here... I just want to because I'm, I'm, I'm a moderator here. I just want to tell you that if you do like two, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes after that, you're going to ask each other the questions. So people will know who's telling the truth. No, no, okay, yeah, yeah. So now everyone is talking. No, it's better that way. It's better we leave it like that because I want to quote so the people okay, know. So now, so we make it five minutes now, or three minutes. How many minutes? Three, four, oh, five. We take, we'll make it five minutes so that you know because you think, you wanna, so that we can finish five minutes here, so we can. Okay, so you want five? Yeah? Exactly. So, so that's the thing. So, my bro, let me. Uh, the, the, what I'm going to do? I want to go the concept of God in Islam. The concept of God, concept of God in Islam. I will go to the Bible and I saw them, even the Old Testament that these people here, Christians of today, they're not following Jesus. They're following the teachings of the church, especially the Paul, the founder of Christianity. When you hear crucifixion or resurrection, believe in, it's Paul. When I hear that, when you confess the theory of my Jesus the Lord and believe in you know, how to go raise it, it's one Paul. Paul wrote half the New Testament. The New Testament, which they, which they follow, has 27 books. Paul wrote half of them. From the book of Romans to book to Philemon. Some gave, that's 13 books. Some gave the book of Hebrews to Paul, which means that Paul wrote 14 books. Half of it. That's all following. So I'm going to come and debunk this myth. So Quran has got 114 surahs. From Surah Fatiha to Surah An Nas. Now, you call it chapters. First chapter to last chapter, Surah An Nas. And if you want to know about the concept of God, I think the best definition we go to Surah Al Ikhlas, which is the 112 Surah of the Quran. I quote that in Arabic and give the translation. It said, oh, no, Sorry. Kul Huallahu Ahad. Say he's Allah the one. Allah Samad. Allah the absolute, the eternal. Allah, who is self-sufficient, who is independent of all needs, Allah upon whom you all depend. He begets not for his begotten, and there is nothing unto like him. The concept, when you go to the Old Testament, is replete. God is telling them he's the only one God, he's the only Savior. But when they say Jesus is God, is a Savior, you are telling me there are two gods, or God has changed his mind. Let's go to the Bible. 
This lamb ya kula uku fan ahad and there is nothing unto like him. That's because in the Quran, when you go to the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 46, verse number 9, God said here, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. Remember it? I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. None like me. None of the cool who art. But you people are telling us that Jesus was fully God, fully man. He goes against this verse of the Bible. Follow about your Bible. In the book of Exodus, chapter number 9, verse number 14. Exodus 9, 1, 4. Says that, that, that you may know that there is none like me in the old earth. God is speaking here. That you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. What is Jesus? What is Jesus said that? And he said Jesus is God. God is speaking about uniqueness, his oneness. Follow my in your Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 43, 10 to 11. Listen to this. God said, and there is no other God besides me. A righteous God and a savior. No, he said. Uh, before me, before me, no God was formed. Before me, no God was formed. No such there be any after me. I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. Remember that. God said, besides me, there is no Savior. I'm asking you, my Christian brethren, how did Jesus become your Savior? Did God change his mind? <coughs> Unless you tell me that two gods, God of the Old Testament and God of the New Testament. Because the God of Israel is one Lord. Jesus himself said in your Bible, he said to you, listen to me, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 28, 29, he said, a man came to Jesus, said, which is the first of the old commandments? Jesus said, the first of all the commandments is, he, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. No three in one. So why did you get this three in one from? One minute. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy is God. Where did you get it from? Tell me. Apart from the first epistle of John, verse 7, which says, For there are three that are in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Nowhere in the Bible. The concept, you find it in the Athanasian Creed. I'm going to quote the Creed, and I know I'm so he doesn't know the creed. Is it finished? No, you have what it is. The Athanasian Creed, that's why they get their doctrine from. But you know in the Bible, so many verses in the Bible, Jesus is telling you that he's not God. What did Jesus say? My father is greater than I. You say they are co-eating, co, co equal Extend that. John 14, 20, my father is greater than I. You read the Bible in Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse number 42. Jesus said, if God were your father, you would love me. So I have come here from God. I have not come out on my own. God sent me. Who sent Jesus? Is it finished? No, 10 seconds. So we want to know how did Jesus become a God? We want to know if God changed his mind from being one Lord, one God, to three in one. We want to know that. Finish. You know. Okay. So my brother, you start here. Yeah. Five minutes, go. Don't run. Okay. First of all, now, I think um, I've, I've mentioned that from the beginning. My position I'm arguing is that uh, I don't believe the God of Islam is the God of the Bible, who is the creator, who gave the laws. He quoted the, the Quran very clearly. Allah does not come back, he does not fellowship with, uh, with men, he has no son, he does not take a partnership. And earlier I show him clearly the God in the Bible, he has a divine son. And this is before Muhammad even came. So the prophet, so the prophet who came before, they have understanding of God divine son. And God actually was calling nations. Nation, these are kings. He says, King. I quoted Psalm 2. Psalm 2 from verse 10 to 12. I quoted. God says, Be wise, you rulers of the earth. I can read that again. He says, Kings. He says that they have to obey the Son. Which son? They should fear him. <laughs> they should be afraid of his what anger. You, obey the door, you understand? No, no, okay, so okay, this okay. is okay. what I'm trying to show. I don't dispute whatever Islam believes because I know it's a cult. What they believe, they believe from a different God who is Allah. 
but the God who is the God of Moses, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who gave us the Ten Commandments, is clearly, clearly revealing his divine son. And I can give him again what another verse. Let's let's I'm going to give, give you another verse. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to give you another verse. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. I'm going to give you another, uh, another verse, what? which is in the book of uh, Proverbs. Are you trying to find the, the cousin as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, let, 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 let's sort of get it's a, it is very important to understand. Oh, let's find the it, it is very important to understand what about that the nephew? there okay, is okay, a plurality in, in the Bible. Okay, we're debating. In the Bible, there is not the father. Uh, the, the father is not only the one person. If I can just let me read, just read uh, in, 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 uh, in the book of Isaiah, book of, book of Isaiah 48 from verse six. What is saying? Come near me. Look, hear the language of the Bible. What is saying? It says, "Come near to me. Hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was. I was there." So he revealing from the beginning of time, he was there. He says, I was there. And now the Lord God and his spirit. So this is the one who's speaking to the human being. He said, come near to me. From the beginning, I've not spoken in secret. There is a truth, there is a, there is a plurality here. If it's not God only speak, spoke to us, but here there is another entity speaking and he introducing another entity, which is the spirit. So there is a father, there is a son and the Holy Spirit. And this is, I'm not quoting even the, Old, the New Testament, I'm quoting the Old Testament. This is the language of the Bible, which is contrary to the, to the, to, to, to the Quran. That's what I'm saying. My position is the Quran is another uh, God you serve is not the God of the Bible, <laughs> but the God of the Bible. This is the prophet who came before Muhammad. Yeah, so one minute, okay, and why is saying, "Come to me, hear this"? I have not spoken secret from the beginning, from the time that it was, I was there. And now the Lord God and His Spirit has sent me. That says the Lord, your Redeemer. So He said, "He is the one who redeemed." The third person who's speaking, he says. I am your redeemer. Less than one this is the redeemer. You understand? Less than I one am your redeemer. Okay. So I'm trying to I'm trying to show you the plurality of the language when it comes no, no, to no, the no. Quran and the Bible. No, no. The Bible is so clear. Earlier I showed you the father, the father speaking of his son from uh, so, some uh, from some to from verse well, 10 to creation. 12. Okay, so uh, uh, this is Where what I'm this? clarifying. I don't just speak what you believe. Why you believe? Because you Where worship a pagan God. Son, you don't worship the God of Abraham, yeah. Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, okay, so this is my position. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you the, no. the seven. What are you going to do? Now you're talking about. No, no, no. We want to know. I'm not debating. Where are you going to know? Listen to me. We're debating. We're debating. No, we're debating, please. We want to know. You know, these people, this is a problem. They haven't studied the Bible. If I ask you, who is the God of the Abraham, Isaac, Jacob? Who is the God of all the Israel, uh, the, 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 the prophet in the Bible? It, that's not Jesus. He's not the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. Do you know the God of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob? That God has glorified his servant, Jesus. Jesus, servant of God. He worship Jesus. He said Jesus was the Messiah. You worship Jesus. Do you know what he says? This is uh, 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 mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 3, verse number 13, says that the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus. His servant Jesus. I'm listening. Do you know? Do you know that? Could you quote it? Could you check it? If Jesus is talking, if Jesus is called, a, if Jesus is called a servant of God, how can he be God? Book of Acts, chapter number three, verse number thirteen. Check, check, check. Everyone check. And God is calling Jesus His own servant. And behold, my servant, whom I have chosen, in whom my soul is well pleased. In your Bible, Gospel of Matthew. 1812. You haven't studied the Bible? You call it uh, uh, Islamic a pagan religion. What do you do, Islam? We worship only uh, only one God, Allah, and we do not associate any partners with Him. And that is what all the prophets in the Old Testament did. The wonders of God in the Bible. You're not quoting. You are going everywhere. The Jews, when they read, say you are lying. No Jesus there. And to prove you wrong, to prove you wrong, 
in your own Bible, in Gospel of Matthew, is the Gospel of, Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse number 46. It says, no, John 5, 46, Jesus said to the Jews, yeah, if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. I'm asking you, what did Moses write about Jesus? You want to know? For go, 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 go back to Isaiah. Let's speak with you. According to uh, you, the Christians, Moses wrote the first five books of the Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. I want to show you one verse. Tell me, what did Moses write about Jesus? Don't go anywhere. Because if Jesus is God, Moses would have said that to the children of Israel. If the Trinity is true, Moses peace upon him. Musa Islam would have said to the children of Israel about this concept of Trinity, about Jesus dying for our sins. Because Paul said, your Paul, your following, as I said, said in the first Corinthians, chapter number 15, verse number 14, if Christ has not been raised, your preaching is in vain and faith in vain. For the said, this is Paul talking in First Corinthians again, chapter number 15, verse number 7. If Christ has not risen, your preaching is in vain and you are still in your sin. Go to the Moses. Show me, I want to know, before you go anywhere, tell me what the Moses said about Jesus. Because he said, Jesus put everything in a basket, one basket. Told them, if you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. I've been asking Christians for the past three years. Majority feel miserable. Only one verse they quote, and that verse, we the Muslims, we agree with that verse. We agree with them. Not a single verse in the Bible. Why your Jesus said he's going to worship me? Nowhere. God in the Old Testament didn't say anything about Jesus being because he's son of God. Or what Paul said in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse number 9 to 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus the Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him, you'll be saved. Who said that Paul? Your concept comes from Paul and Antichrist. Paul never met Jesus. He was in one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. Jesus had 12 disciples. And according to the Bible, when Jude, Judas betrayed Jesus and committed suicide, yeah, the remaining disciples chose another disciple to make it 12. You know that one, Matthias. No, Paul and Antichrist. And I said in the Old Testament, the repeated verses. I'm going to quote again, go to the Old Testament, God. I'll come to the New Testament. You go to the Old Testament again. God is speaking here. I'll come to what Jesus said about himself. You go to the Old Testament in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 6. He said, Jesus said, I, God said, I'm the first, I am the last. Apart from me, there is no God. Emphatic. I'm the first, I am the last. God did it, and they said, apart from me, there is no God. 30 seconds. It's 30 seconds. Furthermore, in the Bible, uh, it is mentioned in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, verse number 39. He said, God said, see now that I, even I am he. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither can anyone escape from me. God said there's no God with him. Finish. Uh, okay. God, uh, um, my brother, again. Quote, quote, quote. I want you to quote. Again, he has not uh, addressed my point. I'm clearly in my... Uh, <laughs> in my... In my intervention, I'm saying, I'm pointing out very clearly that, of course, he's still uh, joining with me when I'm saying that Allah does not have partnership. <laughs> and that is clear. Because when you see in the book of Daniel, we see who is the son of, of God, the son of man, who ascended to heaven, seated, who can sit at the throne on the right side of the throne of God? No one. Because Allah does not take partnership. It's a clear, you worship another God, you're a pagan, worship a God, your God is not the one who gave us the Bible. That's, that's clear. Thank you for joining me. That's all my point. Islam are not the Christian. The God of the Christian, the Jew, are not the same God of an of a Islamic God. Because your God, you are, he is the master, you are the servant, you are, you are, the, you are the slave. Yeah. That's the relationship you have. But when you come in the Bible, it's different. 
God, God, God in Genesis, God in Genesis, God in Genesis, call Abraham his friend. God call Abraham his friend. Allah cannot call anyone a friend. In the Quran, he cannot call, in the Quran, he cannot call in the Quran. Abraham his friend. It's in the Quran. God, God, we'll catch him. God, he's lying now. Wait, wait. God, God ate, God ate the food of Abraham. So this is the fellowship God has. So the difference that we have, wait, 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 wait. we don't worship the same him. God. Him. Our God many times came down on earth. He took the form of a human being. When he appeared at the time of Abraham, he was a human being in a human form. Abraham invited him. He sat down and then he blessed him with the food. They washed their feet. They ate the food that Sarah prepared. And that's where God says, can I hide? Can I hide what I'm going to do to my servant Abraham? We understand. So I'm saying God God fellowship with a human being. From the beginning, Adam and Eve, God used to come in the cooling of the day, he fellowship with Adam and Eve. Yeah. So a God come down, Allah does not come down. He does not have fellowship yeah. with a human being. It does not exist. Okay? He asked me where Jesus. He asked me where Allah. Just give us a verse. He asked me. No, no, not. Yeah. He asked me where in the Bible. That's why. That's why. He asked me to give him a verse where in the Bible Jesus, uh, Moses read, wrote about. About, yeah, yes, yeah. About, so, so, yeah, yeah. About, about, yeah, about what Jesus, Jesus said. If you believe most, you will believe me. Then what For does he say? For you wrote about me. That, what does he say? In Deuteronomy 18, from verse 15. Read it. He says, a new prophet, he says, I will start from uh, probably Listen yeah, to this. 15. Yeah. A new prophet like Moses, the Lord your God will raise up for you. A prophet like me, from your midst, uh. from your brethren, yeah. him you shall hear. Yeah. Yeah, according to all you desire yeah. of the Lord yeah. your God in a hobby in the day of the assembly, saying, yeah. Let me not hear again yeah. the voice of the Lord. So, why is no, no, okay, sorry, they okay. did not want to hear the, the they did not want to hear the voice of the Lord because why God spoke, there was in a one minute, one minute, yeah? no, what, what, yes. no, read, read again, yes, yeah, so, uh, let me. Not uh, oh, prophet, he says, according to all your desire of the Lord, your God in the hope, with in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, not no, let me see the great fire anymore, lest I die. They were afraid, and then the Lord says to me, What they have spoken is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you. From among the brethren, and yeah. will put yeah. my words in his mouth, yeah. and he shall speak to them in that I command him. Thank you very much. So, so, so what does he say? <laughs> Jesus is quoting the Deuteronomy to speak to the prophet, to the, to the Jew. You search the scripture. Who, who, who's speaking? The no, no, give it time. Give it time. Speak of me. Who, who is speaking? And you don't willing. I said. Don't will I said I want to me. So yeah. they can receive. Life. No, so Jesus was quoting the Torah. No, no, Jesus, no. 18, no, no, no. Verse of 15. No, Jesus quoted 18. No, no. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> why, 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 do, why do you lie? Yeah. God is speaking, Lord Jesus. Are you asking me a question? No, but you're, you're do lying. You want me to answer? No, he's quoting the Torah 18, 18. You are quoting my scripture. I know, I know. He addressed the Torah 18, 18. My brothers and sisters, they're asking me. If you're a Christian, be sincere with yourself and listen to this man. The Torah me said Jesus is speaking there. The Torah 18, 18. God is speaking, and we agree with you, a prophet. Thank you. The only verse, the only verse that let me read it for us, please. Let me read it because you know. What it says. Jerome said, "I will raise up a prophet like you." 
like among your brethren, that, and I'll put my mo wa mo voice into his mouth, and he's, he shall speak to them all that I command him. If, if that is the only verse that Moses writes about Jesus, thank you very much. You agree with us, a prophet, no God incarnate. No, 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 you quote it. That's it. You said it, I said Jesus said to the children of Israel, if you, be, if you believe Moses, you believe me. So he wrote about me. Gospel of John, I quoted it. You quoted it. Deuteronomy 18, 18. Just talk. Then that means that you agree with us as a prophet, as a messiah, no God incarnate. That is why in your Bible, seven other verses, he said Jesus is a prophet. You read the Bible, it is mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 19. It says that what things he asked about Jesus of Nazareth, they replied, he was a prophet, powerful in word, before God and all the people. In your Bible, a prophet of the Psalm 18, so the in the Bible, it is mentioned, please, it is mentioned in several verses in the Bible, Jesus is a prophet. It is also mentioned, it is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 21, verse number 10, 10 to 11, it says that, and when he, Jesus, entered Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, who is this? And the multitude that the crowd said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth, of Galilee, a prophet, no God incarnate, for more in the Bible. Several verses, it is mentioned in Gospel of John, chapter number 6, verse number 14. It says that, and those men, those men, when they have seen miracle that Jesus performed, said, this is of the truth of that prophet that should come into the world. Two minutes. This is of the truth of that prophet that should come into the world. No God incarnate, no John 1-1. One, one. Thank you, you agree with us. The only verse Moses wrote about Jesus, Deuteronomy 18, 18. So that agree with the Muslims that Jesus was the prophet and Messiah. No God incarnate, no Trinity. Trinity is a fabrication. Apart from first epistle of John 5, 7, which says, for there are three that recorded in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Nowhere in the... That's the only verse. You go to the Old Testament, not a single verse. God speaks about this Trinity, not a single verse. The Old Testament, where God said he's a trying God. Not there. If the Trinity was true, God would have said it. Not there. How many minutes? Two. So that's the thing. So as I said, you know, you are, I said thank you very much. A prophet, and all the prophet, I said, a servant of God. I repeated, how could a servant of God be God? And he said, Islam is a pagan. Islam is a God. Cannot have a partner. Allah cannot be a partner, so Allah is not true God. You know your Bible? In the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, 3 to 5, God says you don't have a partner in the Old Testament. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall have no other gods besides me. Remember, you shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness in the heaven above or in the earth beneath or in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. So I, the Lord your God, okay. I'm a jealous God, emphatic, no partnership. But you bound to Jesus, you know why? Paul, Paul said in Philippians 2.10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth. On the earth. Paul, you are, you, are, you are following. So you have agreed with me. Thank you very much that Jesus was a prophet. Go on then. So now, please, please, please. No. You know, every, everyone wants to, want to help them. No, no, okay. So, no, let, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let, me let, me let, 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 no, let's no, stop. I said, no, wait, wait. I keep, I keep wait. No, no, no. I just want to let me finish. Every, everyone wants you to help them. So because of that, if you finish your five minutes, then I think everyone to ask you a question. No, no, we don't, we don't do please. that. No, no, no. Because we want to learn from you. No, no, that will take time. That's it. No, no, that will... I, no, no. Only, no, only two minutes. If someone asks a question, you can, you both can answer them. Then I think people fine. want to ask questions. Yeah, no, because that, no, let's finish. Good. We started something, Aki. Okay. Don't, don't. Let's finish what we're doing. Go on then. I'm no, here. No, I'm no. Here. You cannot, you cannot. It's the viewers. Go on. So let him talk. Let me talk. No, we're doing well. Leave it, leave it. We, I know what we're doing. But make sure no, he's exposing himself. No, no. go on then. Yeah? Just leave, leave it like that. No, that's how we, that's how we do it. Yeah, yeah. Three minutes, three, five minutes. Moment, we're laying down. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Lay. He can ask me questions. That's it. But leave it like that. Ask them questions. No, not the, not the, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't do that. No, then. To, to, no. To make a don't disturb this. Go, go, go. Who's that? It's for you.
So I think my time is going now. I, I, I want, no, I'll give you one minute. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm Just let go. Stop it. Yeah, so that we finish. Yeah, one more. So as I was saying now, that's the thing. You cannot show me a single verse in the Bible, in the Old Testament, where God said he's a, a trying God. In fact, I asked, I'm going to ask one minute. I'm going to ask go, 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 go. quick questions. Quick, quick questions. About six of them. And when I'm wrong, I'm going to ask the question and I'm, I'm going to answer the question. When I'm wrong, stop me there. Say you're wrong. No, no, no. It's my time. I'm going to answer it. When I'm wrong, you can stop me. Yeah. I said, who did the Israelites worship? The answer is God. God. Yeah. Did the Israelites see a form or image of God at Mount Sinai? No. The Israelites worship a triumph God. No. The Israelites worship God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. No. Did any of the prophets in the Bible? Any, in the, any of the prophets in the Bible? I'm very fair. Uh, worship this triumph God? The answer is no. Did Jesus taught the concept of Trinity? No. Did Jesus or did Jesus actually Jesus? Uh, worship a triumph God. The answer is, is emphatic no. <laughs> So why do you worship Jesus then? I'll give you one minute. Go on. I want you to quote from the no, Bible. Don't mind. I will still stick with no, 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 no problem. He can go. I, I have to be, I, he can, he can I go. Just leave it until the end. Go. No, go. It's all right. No, you can go seven, ten minutes. First of all, he is he, very ignorant. About, you can go ten minutes. He's very ignorant no, about. No, I, I put my case. Let ten me, minutes. I give you. Let him talk. He's very ignorant about <laughs> prophets. Okay, go, go. On. He's very ignorant about. But go from the Bible. Prophet, prophet is a ministry. Jesus was a prophet. You know that. I quote you. Prophet is a ministry, yeah? Prophet is a ministry. That's, that's, good to ask them. that's why you no. see in our time, no, do in our time it's now in the Christianity, it, no. you it see many prophets. No, no, we don't do that. We'll come to something. Leave it that way. Okay. In Christianity, For the viewers, right now, you see, fluid, you know? we have many prophets. Prophet yeah. is a ministry. No, no, it's okay. I'm, yeah? I'm exposing, so it's all right. Prophet yeah. is a ministry. We are gone, yeah. But when we're talking about this prophet, the prophet who was prophesizing about the Savior, they, they, they gave him the divinity. He was divine. These are prophets themselves yes. were speaking about him. Quote the verses, like, no. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so Deuteronomy 18, 18 yeah. in that time, people knew the leaders, the ministry God placed within Israel were prophets. God spoke to the prophet. So that was the highest ministry for them to understand. Yeah. Over time, after after Moses, there came many prophets. God was revealing in time um, what he's going to do, his plan. The prophecies. Could you quote from the Bible? Prophecies. I don't want your opinion. Hold on, hold on. So you give me evidence. I already gave you Isaiah. I already gave you Isaiah 56. <laughs> Isaiah 56. I gave you Isaiah 58, 16. Isaiah 48, 16. This is was a revealing. This is a prophet of Israel who was revealing God Himself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So God, over time, after Abraham, uh, after the, uh, Moses, gave revelation. There never been any prophet outside the land of Israel. All the prophets after Moses all came from Israel, and God chose Israel as his nation. He says, not because you are you are many in numbers, but as small you are, but I chosen you as my people. And through them, all the prophets, until Jesus Christ, all the prophets came from Israel. And to them, he gave revelation of what God will do, how he will save mankind from the from the sin that brought mortality. For over, oh, you see, when you see the pattern Abraham, within the scripture, God brought destruction in the world. But through Christ, God has not destroyed the world anymore. Because through Christ, God brought now hope of eternity. That's why Jesus overcame death. Every man was born, died, and a God from the Bible, from the scripture. But Jesus rose up. No, no preaching. You want to know? Jesus rose that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. up. Jesus rose up Opinion. to life. Opinion. And Jesus overcame mortality. Jesus overcame mortality. That's why Jesus said, although you will die, if you believe in me, you shall live again. People will know that Jesus is the scriptures. So leave it there. I'm going to quote it extensively. I'm going to read him John. You have to understand, prophet is a ministry. Prophet is a ministry. 
all the prophets who came, they were speaking to him. But when they spoke for him, on the, they spoke about him, they pointed as he was a divine. And look what happened. When the Pharisees, the high priests, when they heard he was the Messiah, what did they say? My father, who has given them, what, what did he say? Let me see. Why does... I wish they could study their Bible. Yeah. You have no chance against me. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. I said, this is it. I give you something. Yeah. So that means now I'm not running away. Why you, does he say... Uh, Jesus says... Sorry, I just have to get... You get a Bible lesson. It don't run another half an hour. Sorry. Yeah, I'll I will give a Bible lesson. I still have my time, so I can... So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one minute, 36 seconds. You live, yeah, you live so and die. What does time? Jesus say? God. Something happened, you see? Which verse, verse, verse? I, I and my father are one. This is the claim of Christ. Again, what, what? this is not Islam. I say where? Yeah, this, this is in uh, John 10, 30. verse 33. Yeah? Uh, no, 29. It says, my father... Uh, no, no. John 10, 30. My father... Uh, no, no, hold on. No. Yes. I and my father are one. I want yeah. I and my father are one. Well, 20, 29. And then it says, renew if, uh, effort uh, to stone Jesus. Then the Jew took up stone to stone him. again yeah. to stone him. Yes. Jesus answered them, many good works I have shown you from my from father. My father. Thank again, you. he's calling God his father. Oh, God, yeah. Islam does not call. Uh, Allah, a father. It's English. And, in, and in Islam <laughs> does not have a son. <laughs> Allah does not have a son. That is I'm, 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 I'm pointing that second. Okay. And what does say? Jesus answered them, it is written. Yeah. Then he says, the Jew answered him. The uh. Jew answered him, saying, for a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you be a man, make yourself one. Next one, so, next verse. That's what I will stop. That's, no, no, that's what no, I will look, look. That's what I will stop. Look, look. Uh, I, my time is finished. So no, here, no. Look at Jesus <laughs> is pointing. First of all, he's calling his father, God is Can father. You on that that he is his son, yeah, which does that. not exist in Islam. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, that you let, let me talk. Let me, let me, let me talk. Let me, let me talk. Son, according to the Old Testament, the son is divine. Hey. He's divine. As the father is God. And that's why they wanted to stone him. They call him a blasphemer. Mm -hmm. A blasphemer. That's what it is. Well, go okay? To next one. Go to next is one. it finished? Yeah, finished. Oh, very finished. But I'll give you an extra 10. No, no, no. Extra 30 minutes. No, no, finish. Are you sure? I just wanted to so, make this yeah. point. Yeah. In Last Islam, minutes. there's yeah. not that concept father and son. You have your five minutes. Mm -hmm. and then, here, Jesus, uh, when he said that, his time of, yeah, yeah. when he mentioned that, the new. No, no. Was no, no, look, 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 look. Look, look. Those are the trouble, trouble Jews. Who are looking uh, troublemakers? We know the prophets in the Old Testament were given hard time by the Jews. They killed some of them. Jesus never claimed to be. You know that's a place in the Bible. Before you go to before you go to John 10 30. Well, let's go to John 7. Go, let's go back. Rewind it. John 7, Gospel of John, chapter number 7. You want me to read it? Verse number 14 to 18. Jesus, that was a, a, a feast, and Jesus went up and gave a majestic speech. Jews were present. And he revealed his identity to them. Before you go to John 10, 30, go to John 7. Go back. Read it and see. I can read it for you if you want. No, make your point. You're making okay. your point. Okay. okay. In this verse here, I said, he said, I'm going to quote it from my head. Gospel of John, chapter number 7, verses number 14 to 18. Jesus teaches at the feast. Any Bible say, Jesus teaches the feast. Verse number 14 said, verse number 14 said, not until halfway through the feast did Jesus go up to the temple course and began to teach. Verse number 15. The Jews were amazed and asked, how did this man get such learning without having studied? Verse number 16. Jesus said to them, my teaching is not my own. It comes from him who sent me. Verse number 17. Jesus said, if anyone chooses to do God's will, he will find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own. Father, verse number 18, he said, 
he who speaks on his own does so to gain honor for himself. But he, that is Jesus, who was for the honor of him, for the honor of him who sent him, is a man of truth. There is no falsehood about him. So in this verse here, Jesus made it clear to the Jews that he was a man, that his teaching was for Almighty God. That if he was false, he was talking on his own. But everything that he hears is for Almighty God. Clear. And you're quoting from John what? John 10 30. And a crafty fellow like you, a crafty fellow like you, you should have started from verse number 23. Let me put it into context. Because that's what you do. Yeah. John 10 30, you quoted 10 30, going on to 34. Here, John 10 23. Let's start following. I read it. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 23. It says, and Jesus was in the temple courts, walking in Solomon's colonnade. 24. The Jews who were there gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep on in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. I'm asking, Why did the Jews say, If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly? Because they knew Jesus was the God. They were waiting for the promised Messiah. In their scripture, the Messiah was prophesied, not God incarnate. That's why they said, if you are the Messiah, you cannot explain it. Not if you are God incarnate. Not if you are the because you are the Son of God. Not if you are God the Trinity. No. And he went on verse number uh, 25. Jesus answered, I did tell you. I did tell you. But you do not believe. The words I do in my Father's name testify about me. The words I do in my Father's name. But you do not believe because you are not my sheep. 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. 28. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. And no one shall snatch them out of my hand. 29. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. 30. I and the Father are one. Let's go on. 31. Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. One minute. 32. It's all right. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good words from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? From who? From the Father. 30, uh, 33. We are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. Remember, he never said he's God. At the feast, they were present before you go to 10 at 7, that he was a man, that he was not God, that everything here from God is it. These are troublemakers. He never said he's God. Verse number uh, 34 said, Jesus answered them. Is it not written? Written? Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Here, Jesus is reminded the Jews. You know why? Even you. Psalm 82, 6. I said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. In the Old Testament, if you're a righteous person, uh, if you're a righteous person, they call you a, a, a son of God. You understand? So you are misquoting. Next verse, let's go. Verse number 30. He denies, yeah. 30, 35. If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot, cannot be set aside. 36. What about the one whom the Father set apart as his own and sent him into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said, I am son of God. Yes. Verse number 37. Listen, 37. Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father, not my work. But if you do them, but if I do them, even though you do not believe me, even you, even though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. Jesus in this verse makes a distinction between him and God. Go then. I'll give you 10 minutes. Go on then. Okay. This guy is reading the scriptures, but he cannot understand. He has no clue what he is reading. He has no clue whatever. He just is so confused. He's reading the scriptures. It's so clear. 
clear. He's so clear what he's reading, but he still can't grasp the understanding. Understand Just like the Jew at that time, yeah. they could not grasp what he was saying. Okay, explain. Can you explain that? Exactly. Yeah, sorry. Can you believe Go back, explain so that. So he's saying when? God made man Go back, to be God over the creation. Explain that. Explain that. That's what I'm explaining, please. You don't have to ask me. It's my time. Okay, go, go. I'm talking. Okay, talk. God made the human <laughs> being to be God over creation. Yes. But how much, he says, how much those who you are human, God made you God. But the one God has sanctified, who is sanctified according to the book of Daniel, no one sanctifies according to the, to the to Proverbs, to Proverbs, no one sanctifies Proverbs someone. I gave you, according to, to Psalm 2, verse 10 to 12, the Father has sanctified, uh, uh, and you uh, call uh, him uh, blasphemy. Who has sanctified? Who is divine? Who the reason why they wanted to stone him because they understood what he was saying as the Son of God yes. is the divine Son. No, no, the no. prophet revealed. Don't lie, you lie. No. I gave you. You are lying. You, are lying. Let, let you, that. you let don't you talk. The I'm no, speaking. Read, read, yeah. Let me finish. Yeah? Yes. Go I gave you the reference finish, go. that referring to the divine Son of God. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. I gave you series of <laughs> no, no. verses from the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, little, uh, he's not lying. And the prophet, the, of the prophet revealed <laughs> the divine Son of God. We can see going to Proverbs. No, 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 no. Son of man. It's man who is talking, yeah? No, that, okay. Don't talk then. The reason why Jesus was called now the Son of Man yeah. because he took the human form. When he came into the world, uh -huh. he took the human Humanity. But it's not God. That's why he's described mm. in the book of Daniel as the Son of Man. Yes. But he is the Son, Son of God. Yeah. Before Son he came into the world, he was the, God. The, the, the Bible, <laughs> always from the Old Testament, they describe him as the divine Son of God. Okay. He's the Son of God. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, My Father. Yeah. Even the language is reading within the John John 10. Yeah. He says, the father, my father, they have uh, they never been a prophet on earth. Even Moses never called God his father. This is English. And Jesus what is he's Hebrew? saying, he's saying it's English. his father is his God. What is in and he says, when God did, he show him all things, the great things, all the miracle he did. Because but, when from before the world, that's why in, 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 in uh, John uh, 17, when Jesus, yeah. when he's praying, he says, now Father, glorify me uh -huh. before uh -huh. the foundation of the earth. Uh -huh. His calling is a pre-existence uh -huh. before him coming to the world. Uh -huh. He says, before the world was formed, by who? As I was with you, no. the glory that I have. Is any being any prophet no, on earth you know asking what? God no, no. to glorify I, I think we, we need to interact, oh, we need, we, we need to interact now. Is there any what prophet, interact? as we read the scripture, gonna interact that now, yes. God has to glorify? No, no. But Jesus required from God, We're gonna interact now. Interact. God, Jesus required from God to glorify him. Mm -hmm. But he says, the glory, not when I'm on earth, but the glory I have before the creation. We're going to interact now. Interact before the creation. One minute, one minute. Yeah? So I'm saying to you, the concept, the first word of Father and the Son is not in Islam. So Islam, you're worshipping a false god. You are a pagan worshipper. You are a cult. You don't worship a god of Abraham, Isaac, Because I show you, according to the scriptures, according to the scriptures, the prophet who came before Muhammad, then understand the language, the father and the son. I'm going to interact so with you. So you have to deal with it. Give you give it, it not, Isa. Yeah, give it. I want to give it. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's your belief. You can you remain as you are. But what we believe, there is a plurality in Judaism from the beginning, from the prophet okay. until we, Jesus we, came. We, we he was affirming no. the language yeah. from the Old Testament. The as the father in the Old Testament was was calling about the son, the his divine son. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus, when he came, he was calling up about his father, oh. being his God. Oh. So there is a harmony when we look about the Old Testament and the New Testament. But you, you, we don't know what you believe, yes, and that's yes, yes. Up to you guys. And I'm harmonizing the Old Testament. Okay, let me let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Yes, the, the problem, the problem is, your problem is, you talk, but you don't give no evidence. Yeah. The old, uh, no, sorry, the Old Testament. Is the replacement? No, 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 you're no, asking no, 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 no,
God, God is a confused God. Listen to me. I said to you, God in the Old Testament, he communicated to every single prophet in the Bible. It was only one God. No a trinity. This concept time God. Now we are going to interact. Okay. We're going to interact. You're going to show me now. It's not there. Okay. I told you, God said okay. he's only I'm one God. Show you now. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'll show you. No, listen. It's, okay. It's, let, me, let me, let me, let me. still don't accept. Okay, give me one minute. Let me, let me quote. I quoted verses to you from the Old Testament. Why God says he's only one God. I, I quoted Isaiah 43, 43, 10, 11. Before me. No, I said before me, no God was formed. Yeah, okay, no, shall there be any after me. I am the Lord, and besides me, okay. there is no Savior. Yeah, okay. I quote extensively. Furthermore, in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter, chapter number 45, verse number 21 to 20, God said, uh, He said, 21 said, and there is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none besides me. Verse number 22 said, Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. This enter emphasis, God in the Old Testament, turn to me. I'm asking you, did he change his mind? You're not making sense. You're everywhere attacking Islam when you are a pagan. You are also being Jesus. Jesus said, say, What's it me? Trinity is not Trinity. The concept of it is not the Old Testament, nowhere. I told you, Jesus said to, uh, to, uh, to the Jews, If you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. You quoted the throne 18, 18. What? A prophet. I said, Thank you. So the concept of Trinity, why did he get it from? So there's no more timing. So I just no. want to be fair. What I'm saying? What I I'm want saying? you to be heard. I want to be heard. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I'm not afraid no. of whatever okay. claim you are making. What, 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 what I'm saying? I do so not want the truth. What, what, what I'm saying? This concept of Trinity or Jesus being God, you cannot prove it nowhere in the Old Testament. The you told me when God said. I've just proved it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Proved, proved it. Yeah. You know, I can't prove it. Them. When God says, you shall. You shall you I, no, no. You are, you are, you are, look, you are God, him, deny, what I'm deny. saying, God Himself said, okay, You shall have, have no other God besides me. Have you been, you shall not make for yourself a graven image or any life or anything that is in heaven above you, or that is in or that is in the water under the earth. You have shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Explain that to me. Let him, let him, let him. You are telling me God change his mind. Address that first. I'm quoting, you're not addressing it. You're going to obscure verses. No, I'm not. I gave you, I gave you, you clear. Then, okay, right, go, go. Okay. Um, you are not just my. You have to understand the language <laughs> of the Bible. When God is language saying, of Bible, go. I gave you a first of quote. When in the Old Testament, God says, Israel, I've chosen you oh. as my only nation above all other nations. <laughs> so God, what he's doing is making exclusivity. And what does he say to Israel? He said to them that there is only, he's only the true God who yeah. is the Savior. Yeah. And he was telling them, he was telling them, yeah. in, the, in the land he's taking them, this nation worship pagan gods. Yeah. They worship other gods. Yeah. But he was saying to them, I'm the only true God who is the Savior. Yes. So that in in that in that concept, God was saying, was speaking against other beliefs yes. other nation have. And he was not speaking to our nation, he was speaking to so Israel. So did he change his mind? Hold on. He was speaking to Israel. But did he change his mind he after that? Speaking to Israel. Please. Go, go. You go. I'll give you time. Go, 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 go. You're not fighting. Go, 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 go. You are free to talk whatever you want to go, say. Go, go, talk, talk, talk. No, no. I'm giving evidence everything I've been saying. I've, I've shown you in a, from the old, old prophet. <laughs> You know, who came before Muhammad, before even Jesus, they spoke highly about the divine Son of God. And Jesus, when he came, in the same harmony, he exalted his Father. He humbled himself. He says, his Father is greater than his. He said, everything he was saying, his Father gave him. And he spoke according to what God, his Father, gave him to speak. So he came to reveal the kingdom of we're, God to come. We're interacting. So what I'm no, we're interacting. Saying, yes. So what the I'm why saying, say so what I'm quote, saying so that I'm very perfect. When God in the Bible says there is only one Savior, it's making the analogy of other nations who worship different gods. Okay. And then he says he's the only, only God who saved. Because why? He already saved them from Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. They were in captivity. He took them there. God, who revealed himself to Moses, is the one who saved them. Yeah. Now they understood that Israel, there could not be any other God can save them. That's why I say in the life, in, 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 in the history of God and Israel, Israel, when they broke the laws of God, 
they were rounded up, they were taken to captivity because he was teaching them something that all nations will come to learn. That's why God even allowed them to be slaughtered, to be destroyed, and always restored them. Even to this day, when we have the, the current Israel, because this was a prophecy, God will scatter them all around the world. But he promised he will bring them back to Israel, to their own nation. And God fulfilled this promise. So, no, what no, I'm no, saying, no, let me talk now, let me talk God now. of Abraham, give you time. Let me... Isaac, and Jacob, wait, 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 okay. he clearly wait, said no, he's the only Savior. That's, it. That's why yeah. today in the world, you need only one Savior. No, no. And this Savior, oh, no, who's that? And this savior who? is true Christ. No, how? how? It's Jesus no, call, call Christ. the Bible, call the Bible. Where? Jesus. Call the Bible. Jesus. Where are interacting? Go, go, go it. Jesus came. Call the Bible. Jesus. You see how crafty they are. Hold on, I'm making a point. No, but I'm talking now. You're, you're preaching. If, I'll give you three minutes. No, I said we interact. No, I said we interact. I spoke. I was quiet but, when we were talking. No, but, but, finish. but I, I waited Let for a while. Finish my no, point. No, no, you can come I in. said let's interact now. I did not interrupt. But you did three minutes. You were spoken. There's no more. There's no more time. No, but I gave you time. I gave you time. I was quiet. But I gave you time. Three minutes. Let you finish. But what did give you time? Let me finish my point and I'll get past on to you. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go for 10 minutes, go, 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 on, go. So, uh, that's why you see, it's a very clear, God, that's why he says, the only God who saved is God of Israel. That's why Jesus has to come through Israel. And through Israel, when when Jesus fulfilled the law and the, the commandment, that's where after that he said, people, his followers, to go now call all the nation and to worship the God of Israel. So that's why we are. The only savior is the God of Israel. That's what I'm saying. Islam is not in that line. No, I said, we said. Islam we said, is let me talk. Line. Let me talk so now. That's my let point me talk. I've made. No, we're going, we're going on. We are interacting. Well, let me, no. give, me, give him a clear verse. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, okay, no, hold on. I've been giving clever. Do you no, want to okay. ask a question? No, 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 Why do you want to speak on this? No, 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 no. Be quiet, he's a big man. Okay, okay, okay. Look, he can't talk. Okay, okay, we all understand. He wanted to catch me, catch me Okay, 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 I'm catching you, I'll catch you. catch me now. I'll catch you. We're having a conversation. No, listen to me. Be quiet. No, no, I'll catch you. I know he's your brother. Look, I okay, I okay. No problem. I got no problem. He wants to run. He wants to run. Don't run. Don't run. No problem. No, don't. He wants a quick exit. Don't run. Come. Look at me. Leave the man alone. Look at me. I'll make you run. No. No. Look at me. I'm here. I said I'll make you run, and I'll make you run. You can't make me. Run. Okay, okay. You don't know my. Yeah, yeah, expose you. Okay. You don't know okay. my. Okay. You said. Look. I've already exposed. I speak look, the look. prophet. I've already exposed you. You, you are. No, you're the camera. You agree. Let me talk now. You agree with the Muslim that the only thing that Moses wrote about Jesus is a prophet. Simple. Oh yeah, honor, honor, honor about these things. You cannot prove it. It's not your Bible. And then what I'm telling you, you, you Christians are, are telling us now, Jesus is God, is divine. And we are told that Jesus is in heaven. You even quoted, and is sitting at the right hand of God. In heaven, is Jesus divine? He's divine. Hey, at the moment, in heaven, is he divine? Now I'm asking, we're interacting. No, finish. Oh, no, no, asking. we're interacting. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, is he you God? Question. Yeah, is God. Is God. So Jesus, do you know the verse in the Bible? What, the verse in the Bible where it says that He's sitting at the right hand of the mighty God. Do you know the verses? Could you call the verse? I want to know whether you study your Bible. I want to hear. Yeah, if you study your Bible, no. I want to know whether you study the Bible. It said that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven. And several verses in the Bible, it said Jesus is seated at the right hand of God in heaven. Now, if Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, that that makes your trinity what it debunks it. It makes you force me because it means there are two gods in heaven. Don't tell me that I want God. No, go, go, go. Let me answer. Let me look. An interaction. Let me answer. Say, go, go. I don't want to cut you all the time, but I want to give you time to make your point. What I'm yeah? saying, yeah, Bible said. Answer now. Okay, answer that. Yes. Jesus is seated at the right hand of mighty God. Yes. Mighty God in heaven. Yes. Can I quote a verse and he tell you? Yeah. Oh, you want a verse? Yeah. This is gospel of gospel of gospel of Luke. Okay. okay. Gospel of Luke. Okay. 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 Gospel of Luke, chapter number. 22 verse number 69 several verses it says that we see that the son of man that is jesus will be seated at the right hand of the the mighty god in heaven yeah, the yeah. mighty god so jesus the god is seated at the right hand of the mighty god in heaven who is the mighty god in heaven i want to know it's the father exactly. the father is the mighty god but jesus is not god he is god so jesus the father is the mighty god and jesus is god is sitting at the right hand of the mighty god you have to talk i'll give it to you
you see, God is a title. God is a title. Yeah? God is a title. God, a God, God is supposed to do something no one who is not God cannot do. And Jesus was saying, what God, his father can do, he also can do. Only him, <laughs> but no other. No, no, you're digressing. No. I said the concept of Trinity. Hold on, no. I'm I'm quoting no. what Jesus said. He said, yeah. what the Father can do, he can also do. But no one can do what God can do. Could you explain that? But what can I explain to you? The ability of God to yeah. create, yeah. to judge, to give life. Yeah. His only attribute, ability of God. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But Jesus is claiming he has the same ability to create, to give life. Yeah. yeah? Jesus said that. Yes. Okay, go on. So that, that's why Jesus said, everything for the Father loved the Son and has shown the Father. You know. Everything that the Father can do, the Son also can do. do, do, do uh, that's why That's why when I look at you guys, you have history of the Bible. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to quote it. You're not answering. quoting. I'm answering. Quoting, I'm going to quote. Answering. And debunk you. So, you're not quoting. So this is, this is what He's Jesus, talking nonsense. You're not quoting. Quote verse. Quote a verse. Okay. I'm Jesus never created a fly. There's no single verse in the Bible why Jesus said he created a fly. Oh, Almighty God in the Old okay. Testament, he alone, God alone created the heavens and the God earth. God. Just so you're going to tell me that, okay, God in the Old Testament said that to I'm, the children of Israel. I'm going to just give you the verse. Yeah. Let me just, yeah. let me just give you. I'm going to tell you yeah. that Jesus, I'm going, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, I will bank you. One God. According to, according to Jesus, you don't know. According to Jesus, the prophet, do you know the Father is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Hold on. Who is the Lord of heavens and the earth? Uh, to the back it. You have phone, studied your Bible. So my, 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 my battery you have, is... Yeah, your battery. You have studied your Bible. Jesus was in the... If you read the Bible, in the New Testament... Please, please, let give me time. Go on. And let me speak. Apart from you, go to John. You go into John, John, John said, John created, and here said, here said, Jesus created nothing. Is there? Say that. This Bible, 32 scholars. You cannot find any verse Jesus created something. John, you go into. In the world, and John and the King James Version. That's it. But not a single verse. Right, okay. Um, not a verse he could have told me Jesus created anything. Created. He didn't create nothing. Yeah. So Jesus was claiming, okay, he was saying clearly that for the Father loved the Son, yeah. So the Father has given, shown to the Son all things that God can do. So Jesus also can create because we believe what the, world, about? the world is coming, that the, the, the eternal life world that's coming is God. Jesus is going to create all things. One God, He's going to no, no. change all things. He's going to change all things. I said, show me why Jesus it, said he created anything. Is, Let me go to Old Testament and go to New Testament. No, I know you have to the Bible. If you read the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, God's chapter God's number 44, 24, God said, God's God's said God's I'm God's the Lord who made all things, yes. who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. No, 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 no. Book of Isaiah, chapter, chapter number 44, mm. verse number 24. God said he created everything, him alone. Mm. Okay, what Jesus is saying, okay, in the book of uh, John 5, what Jesus is saying, more surely I say to you, yeah, more surely I say to you, the son can do nothing yeah. of himself. But what he says, you see, the son does not go and do something that is outside of God. God, what he does, he creates the world. Yeah. So Jesus, the language is, is, is apply is implying what what God does that your own idea do, not Jesus yet no no no, no. That's so then Jesus. we say God Jesus don't go and do his own things yeah but he do does what he sees his father do he's like a son in a house so, <laughs> the son follow the, the father just hear what he's saying oh, just hear what he's saying what he's saying no, no, then he says I can't believe it the son I told you I'll expose you I told you himself him. But why he sees the father? First of all, I yeah. will again reinforce that this concept of the father is not in his No, no, go on, go on. So it's no, no, go on, go on. false. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Go on. It's not Christianity has gone to Jesus. God, Jesus was not Christian. God so go, 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 go. is not a father. Read, 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 read verse. So you Let's read. A false I told you I'll give you Bible no, lesson. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Then it says, I, I wait, wait, wait. Father, then it says, is it God not? Is it God not like to stand on? Let me finish. I gave you time. Wait, wait. Please. Go, go. You don't have to shout. I've been very go, calm. I said, I gave you time to go. I gave you time to go. Go, go. Yes, please. Just be calm. Let me make my point. 
we don't have to shout to each other. Go, go. Then he says, the father, and then he says, but what he sees the father do, for whatever he does, the son also does, in like manner. For the father loved the son and I show him all things <laughs> yes, that yes. he himself <laughs> does and he will show him great words. No, 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 no
Christians. The concept of Trinity is a fabrication. It's a concoction. And I've got so many Bibles here, and I know the same. So many Bibles, chopping and changing. They are not the same. The Quran is perfect. Which? No, and it's no, no contradiction. But in the Bible, it's repeated contradictions. I'm going to challenge him here. Maybe next week I'll come here, me and him to debate the Bible or the Quran. Which one? Which one is a hundred percent word of God? I will show him. Contradiction upon contradiction, dozens and addition, deletion. The Quran is really the Quran. Allah said, Allah said in Surah Ibrahim. Uh, maybe in Surah Ibrahim. Long, I'm long. In Surah, five minutes. I call in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number fourteen, verse number fifty-two. Say that this Quran, this Quran is a clear message for the whole of mankind. Let them take warning there from. Let them know that there's only one Allah, one God, and let the men of understanding take heed. Only one God. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, in the Bible, worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. Yeah, hear all his right. The Lord our God is one Lord. Ask the people of Okay, I'm gonna, you know, he wants to make his conclusion now, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna quote a verse from the Quran in Surah Imran 364. We're inviting you to the religion of all the prophets in the Bible. All the prophets in the Bible were Muslims. They all taught Islamic monotheism. There is not a single verse in the Bible. Not a single prophet in the Old Testament who taught this concept of Trinity. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Ghost is God, and there are no three God, one God. They are getting it from the Athanasian Creed. And I know he doesn't know his creed. I'm going to call the creed here. The Athanasian Creed is why they get this concept of Jesus being God, uh, the Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God. I'm going to call that, that so that they know, because most viewers don't know that when they said this, they, Jesus and Almighty God are co-eternal, co-equal, or these three to be worshipped, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, they are quoting from the Athanasian Creed. The Athanasian Creed, I'm quoting, these are the words of the Athanasian Creed, as quoted from McClintock and Strong's Biblical Sacrobitia, formulated in the 4th century AD. The Creed was a result of a controversy, which raged from the second to the to, from the second to the fourth century and beyond. It said, they are following the creed which you will not find in the Bible. It says, we was one God in Trinity and Trinity in unity. Neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance. For there is one person of the Father, another of the Son, and another of the Holy Ghost. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of, of the Holy Ghost is all one. The glory equal, the majesty co eternal. Such as the Father is, such is the Son, and such is the Holy Ghost. The Father is eternal, the Son is eternal, and the Holy Ghost eternal. So likewise, the Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, and the Holy Ghost almighty. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. Yet there are no three gods, but one God. The Father is made of none, neither created nor begotten. The Son is all the Father alone, not made, not created, but begotten. The Holy Holy Ghost is of the Father and of the Son. Neither ma not made, nor created, nor begotten, but proceeding. And in this trinity, none is afore or after other. None, none is greater or lesser than other. But the whole three passes are co-eternal together, co-equal. So that, as is aforesaid, the unity in trinity and the trinity in unity is to be worshipped. He therefore, he therefore that will be saved must not thus worship the trinity so the concept the concept is in the athanasian tree not in the bible so i'm going to uh, end this uh, uh to make my conclusion now i'm going to end it with a quotation from god's quran in surah al-imran 364. allah said cool yeah let's get up say oh people the book say oh jews and christian dialogue in a calamity someone made a better come that come to common terms as between us and you allah nabuja illallah that we worship not about allah well i'm be shake out that we associate no partners with him what i actually about no about that Alba Midullah that we erect not from our own among ourselves those our patrons that are Allah fight our Allah but if they turn away for Kulus Ado then say bear witness be now Muslim they were Muslims bound to Allah
الاسويل واكره داوانا والحمد لله رب العالمين The New Testament without the Old Testament, it has no validity. What validates the New Testament is the Old Testament. Because Christ came, the word he says, I came to fulfill the prophet, the law and the prophet. Meaning what he was written. And then people shall be judged also for refusing or re re rejecting what was written from the beginning. So Jesus, that's where he began. And what he began, he adopted the language of the Old Testament. There had never been any prophet from Moses until Jesus ever called God being his father. Jesus is the only one who brought this language that he knows God, he has seen, he has seen his form, and he knows how heaven is, how many mansions are there. And he was even saying that to the, his apostle, when before he was crucified, he is going and to prepare the place and he will come and receive them to himself. So where he is, they may also be. So he was describing heaven, our race. There are many places, but he wanted them to be with him. So he was claiming his existence before him being incarnate in the flesh. But again, we can, just to summarize, if I can go in the book of Ma uh, Micah, just to summarize, in the book of Micah uh, 5, 2, you will see what he was saying, what was said about him in the prophecies. In the prophecies, what was said about him. Uh, just trying to get the verse. What was he saying to him? But then, when he was to be born, because God is not the God of confusion, he needed to, to, to reveal to the world okay. who was to be born. Okay. No. No. From where he was from. So that's why we see the divinity of Christ. The divinity of Christ is not identified from the New Testament. It's from, from the New Testament, from the Old Testament. Here in Micah 5, 2, what does the prophet before Muhammad, before when Jesus was born, did they have to say about Christ? They says, but you Bethlehem, Ephrata, through you are, though you are a little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, who's going forth are from all of old, from everlasting. So the one who was supposed to be born in Bethlehem, which we believe is the is the version, the birth version birth of Christ. He was coming, his coming is coming from an ancient world, from everlasting. So he's talking about his eternity. It's not someone who will be eternal, but he's eternal, he's eternal from where he's coming from. He's an eternal being. And this is one who shall be born. And this is what we have a consistent revelation and we make before Christ was born was given to the Jews. So the Jews and the Sioux, when the prophets uh, the Pharisees and when Jesus revealed to himself claiming to be that the son of God. God, the son of man, they knew he was claiming this being who is divine. That's why they wanted to stone him. So this is my point. I'm not trying to clarify. Jesus is coming is a divine being. He was foretold and he came to fulfill the commandment and the law and the prophet. But in this concept that we have, I've shown you what from some to verse 10 to 12. How God is calling the world, He's calling rulers that they should honor the Son, they should kiss Him. Yeah, they should honor Him. And this is not a fabrication, this is something was revealed before even came into the world. He was telling about His divinity that is divine. All men have to respect and honor Him, they should not allow His anger to kindle against them.
So this is what I'm saying. But when we look about Islam, it's so clear. My brother has clarified. Allah does not take part in this. Allah is the only one. This God, one God is Allah. You know that Allah is not Yahweh. Allah is not a father. I'm going to go. Anyway, Yahweh in the Bible said it. It is good. Your Yahweh in the Bible said he has no power. But Allah, I quote it, is not God. Your Yahweh in the power. The thing is, you are just blaspheming. You're going to finish that. You are paganism. That's it. He's blaspheming. That's his thing.